Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am sharing a few card projects featuring the brand new Casual Greetings Hot Foil Stamp from ellenhudson.com. This is a part of their Essentials by Ellen line and I absolutely love the greetings in this Hot Foil Stamp. Now, I did wanna point out that I am using the Hot Foil Stamp today, but there is also a traditional stamp if you would prefer to create these cards with stamped images rather than foiled images. But if you know anything about me, <laughs> I love some good shine and uh, foiling is totally my jam. Now I did wanna show you how I do store some of my most used foils. They come in these rolls, but I find more and more that I'm using them in kind of these card panel sizes. And so I, trim them down into that perfect card panel size, and I'm storing them in one of the Essentials by Ellen pockets for stamp storage. Now you'll see here that I have little scraps as well. And the way that I do this is I just kind of feed the roll of foil into my trimmer, and then I just use the blade to trim these down. They're about six inches long, and the width of these is already like the perfect width for some of the hot foil plates and stamps. And I did wanna mention that a hot foil plate and a hot foil stamp are the same thing. It's just different companies call them different things. So this is gonna work for your Pink Fresh Studio hot foil plates. This also works for the Essentials by Ellen hot foil stamps. And I just find that having these pre-trimmed is the way to go. And then I can trim down all of these panels, stack them up, slide them into a stamp storage pocket, and I have them ready to go when I'm ready to foil. And I do this with the most used colors. Now this is a Spellbinders Glimmer Hot Foil in the color Champagne, and it is my favorite gold foil of all the gold foils in the land. <laughs> so I keep quite a few of these trimmed down and ready to go. Now you can use the Glimmer Hot Foil with the Gemini hot foil press machine. But I do find that the key to using the Glimmer hot foil with the Gemini foil press is to use it on the medium heat. So you see that medium heat there? I'm turning it on and I'm allowing it to heat up. And oftentimes when I'm allowing this platform to heat up, I will go ahead and stick my plate right on the platform and cover it with the shim that comes with the foil press and allow it to heat up. Now I know it's ready to go because that light has now turned green. So I'm gonna take a panel of this Glimmer Champagne foil and I'm gonna lay it with the pretty side down facing the pattern of my hot foil plate. So if you'll keep in mind, anytime you're foiling, no matter what system you're using, you're going to have the dull side of the foil or the not pretty side of the foil facing the paper and the pretty side facing the hot foil plate. So now I've added some super smooth white cardstock. I set my timer for 30 seconds, allowed that to heat up there. And once the timer went off, I removed the platform from the base and ran that through my Gemini Junior. And you can see I have these beautifully foiled sentiments. Now I'm gonna show you how to do some reverse foil sentiments today. So I'm gonna keep this piece of foil that I just used. But I did wanna show you that this is a one piece hot foil plate and sometimes you don't wanna foil all the sentiments. Now, I like to foil all the sentiments because I like to have extras on hand. But if you only wanna foil one sentiment at a time, you can just trim down a scrap of cardstock and a scrap of foil and just cover the area that you wanna use. So I'm gonna foil this seriously sentiment that's in this upper right hand corner. So I'm laying my foil onto the hot foil plate covering that sentiment with the pretty side facing the hot foil plate design and the dull side facing my cardstock. Now I'm using a colored cardstock in this instance and I did find that I needed a thin paper shim for this just because of the type of cardstock that I was using. Now once my timer was done, I ran this through my Gemini Junior and then I am going to remove this from the hot foil plate and you're gonna see that I have just that single sentiment foiled. Now I did have a little overfoiling from the sentiment below it, but I'm gonna use the coordinating die to trim this out, so that's not gonna matter. Now this is the coordinating die. This comes in a set that coordinates with both 
the casual greetings hot foil plate and the stamp set. So the die set works with either one. And you can see when I run that through my Gemini Junior, I have a perfectly die cut foiled sentiment. I think these are so beautiful. Now I'm gonna show you how to do reverse foiling. And for this technique, I'm gonna turn my foil press up to the highest heat. And I'm gonna use the Pink Fresh Studio Solid Hot Foil Plate. And I am going to allow this to heat up and get good and hot. Now I wanna tell you that the key to this solid hot foil plate gig here, <laughs> or technique, is that you want this foil plate to be hot, hot, hot. So once it heated up, I set my timer to two minutes and allowed it to heat even more. Then I'm gonna take that piece of foil that I previously used to foil my Casual Greetings Hot Foil Plate Sentiments, and I'm gonna place it on the solid hot foil plate with the pretty side facing the solid hot foil. I put my cardstock on top, and I used two paper shims and set my timer for like a minute or a minute and a half and ran that through my Gemini Junior. Now, the two paper shims were maybe a little overkill, <laughs> But the key to the solid hot foil or reverse hot foiling is that you want to make sure you have enough heat and enough pressure. I definitely had enough pressure, but I probably could have done one less shim. Now, once I pull this off the solid hot foil plate, you're going to see that this has pressed all of that foil onto my cardstock. But because the foil was missing from the places that I've already hot foiled with that hot foil plate, I have the reverse image of these sentiments and they are super shiny. So instead of the writing being foil and the outside cardstock being white, I have white sentiments and the surrounding area in that gold foil. Now, earlier when I was creating with this hot foil plate and die set, I lined up all the dies around the foiled areas and I had taped them in place and I kept them on that negative piece of um, die cutting there so I could easily just pop this over my next foiled grouping of hot foil sentiments and cut them all out at once. So that was kind of a little cheater method, but it worked perfectly. And this foiled cardstock that's left over, I could die cut hearts or things out of that or use strips of it to add accents to my cards. So here's a look at all of the foiled sentiments that I created. I have the regular foiled sentiments, which you can see here on the bottom in my hand. That is the regular image. And then I have the reverse foiled image there on the top, that Mondo Squishy Hugs. It's the same sentiment, but it's reversed. And this is a really great way to get more mileage out of your hot foil stamps, as well as that foil that you've already used. So here's a look at another one. The regular hot foil plate stamp is on the bottom and the reverse image is on the top. Now I also created a reversed foiled image on colored cardstock of that seriously that I did earlier. And you can see that there. So the colored cardstock comes through and the surrounding area is gold. And you can see all the different variations here of this seriously sentiment. The regular one is on the far left here. The reverse of that is right next to it. And then I have it on the colored cardstock and then the reverse image on colored cardstock. So there's a lot of ways that you can get different looks out of these. And keep in mind, you can change the color of the foil and get a completely different look as well. So I just wanted to give you some tips on using this hot foil stamp. And now I'm gonna use these sentiments on a few cards. So I had previously stamped some of the painted florals. These are brand new from the March Essentials by Ellen release. And I have used the Essential Arches to die cut some, this is the Sea Glass cardstock from Concord and Ninth. And I also have this sentiment strip here, which is from the Casual Taglines stamp set that is also part of the March 2022 release from the Essentials by Ellen line. And I took that little sentiment strip and just stitched it on to the bottom of this arched cardstock. And I'm pulling my threads through to the back of this cardstock and just taping them in place so that I can trim off the excess. And then I'm adding my foiled sentiment here right over that sub sentiment or that stamped sentiment strip. Now I stamped this onto some Nina Solar White cardstock in some VersaFine Nocturne pigment ink. 
And then I am adding my floral elements using some foam adhesive as well. So the foiled sentiment has foam adhesive, the florals have foam adhesive, and then the leaves are gonna be glued on to the cardstock with a little less dimension. Then I took this entire arch piece, I added foam adhesive to the back of it, and I'm using my T-square ruler here to line it up on a top folding A2 size card base made from the Essentials by Ellen Linen cardstock. So I'm just placing that there, and then I have this beautiful card. Now I decided to add a little bit more shine, so I'm adding some sparkling clear sequins from Pretty Pink Posh, and then I'm gonna take my Zig two-way roller ball glue pin and I'm going to add some dots to the center of these flowers and I'm going to allow them to completely dry and once they're completely dry I'm going to take this same champagne foil that I used with my hot foil stamp earlier and I'm going to press it over that dried tacky glue and it's going to leave me with some foiled dot detail in the center of my flowers here. So you can see I have created three different cards using these foiled sentiments along with the painted florals stamp set from the Essentials by Ellen Line and the casual tagline stamp set. I love the way these turned out. This colorway is absolutely beautiful. And if you're interested in the colors that I use to stamp all of these florals and leaves, I will have those linked in the YouTube description below. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for watching. I am so glad that you're here hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications here on my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the paper crafting and card making video tutorials I share here. And if you love this video, I would love it if you would share it with a friend and let me know in the comments below which of these three cards is your favorite and which of the foiling techniques that I shared or the tips and tricks that I shared with you is your favorite today. Thanks again for watching and until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the very end. You know if you've made it this far, you are one of my favorites. <laughs> If you want to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click the button on the left side of the screen. And here's a couple more video tutorials I thought you might enjoy.